City of Philadelphia, everything you need to know that you didn't know. We're going to talk about that right here on this video. Stay tuned. Hello all, it's Gregory Martyr, your local real estate expert here in the Philadelphia area, and thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Hit that subscribe button, click that bell notification. We're here to help you with all your real estate needs and any information you need to know about the greater Philadelphia area. We got you covered in our city, outside of the city in the suburbs, got you covered across the bridge in Jersey too. Call, email, text anytime, comment down below. We answer all communication. We work nights and weekends. We're here to help, we're happy to do it. So let's talk about the city of Philadelphia, everything you needed to know. Now, obviously, you know what we have, the, the obvious things. And maybe you don't know this, but we've got a ton of history here. We got Betsy Ross, we've got the Ben Franklin Bridge. These are things that pretty much everybody knows, right? We got the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. We've got a ton of history in our city. Let's talk about the things that maybe you weren't quite aware of that are really exciting about our fair city. All right, you know, we got great food. Obviously, we got cheesesteaks, pretzels, but the proximity to New York and New Jersey is absolutely phenomenal compared to any other great metropolitan area. We've also got sports teams here. That's right, professional sports teams. We got hockey, go Flyers, we got basketball. Go Sixers, trust the process. Phillies, world champions. That's right, baseball. Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, did you mention uh, world champions? Oh, okay. Philadelphia Eagles. It's our professional football team. We've got some great professional sports. We've got a great museum of modern art. Now, a lot of these things you probably already knew about, right? But here's something maybe you didn't know about. Tax abatement. That's right, we're gonna save you on our taxes. We wanna inspire you to come to our city, make our fair city bigger, better, and bigger, better, and badder. Badder in a good way. Tax abatement. We're doing a video here on tax abatement. We'll put a link to it. That video may not be out yet, so we'll make sure we get you hooked up with it. Tax abatement is a temporary or a permanent reduction or elimination of taxes. We will eliminate your taxes. They've also got a ton of other tax exemption programs, long-time owner-occupants, disabled vets, you gotta check out, we'll put some links there below. We got a really cool tax abatement system in our fair city. Philadelphia is home to a ton of great businesses. There's a wide variety of businesses here. Some of them are headquarters here as well. Job growth is on its way up and the economic picture of our financial district is also on the rise. We have plenty to offer here for a wide variety of jobs and a wide variety of economic development. Our healthcare and our education enjoy a really great reputation and because of that, people wanna come. Because of that, because it's true, we have people coming from all over the world locally to Philadelphia for our healthcare and our education. So we've got some awesome Fortune 1000 companies, Glaxo, Smith, Klein, IBM. We got Comcast, which is Xfinity, Aria Health, and US Airways. All housed, headquarters here in Philadelphia. So compared to our brothers and sisters in New York and New Jersey, it's absolutely much more affordable here to live in Philadelphia. And that's the truth. That's not just me saying it. Of course, that's my opinion as well, but it's absolutely true. Property taxes compared to Philadelphia and New Jersey are literally no comparison at all. Price points of New York housing versus Philadelphia housing is, is literally a third in some cases. We got a ton of New York investors and a ton of people that live in Philadelphia and commute to New York because of the affordability. All right, so driving and parking. <laughs> Look, just avoid the scoople at all costs. 76, bad. I shouldn't say bad, it, it's, a, it's a major thoroughfare, but it really can be very congested. And they say, oh, well, especially at rush hour. I mean, absolutely. So at probably two o'clock in the morning, you could go down the scoople, as, as we call it, because it runs along the Schuylkill River. But I would try to avoid it. There's a, a ton of other ways to get in and out of the city without having to be so congested on route. 76. The on and off ramps are always a surprise. <laughs> so they're usually marked very well, but sometimes they kind of sneak up on you. There's a lot of construction going on on our highway, so you have to be really careful. You have to aim high in driving, so you really have to look. But of course, if you have to slow down and to get over, no one would ever beep their horn at you uh, here in Philadelphia. <laughs> Uh, you just have to be careful of that. There's a lot of arteries going each which way. So if you're not used to that and it's congested driving and there's a lot of traffic, so if you're not used to that, be ready for it and, and don't be surprised. So unfortunately here in Philadelphia, potholes are unescapable. Just be ready and get used to driving with them. Make sure you have some good tires and some good uh, shocks and struts. Uh, I'm not a car expert, I'm a house expert. 
but uh, potholes are uh, potholes, potholes, pothouses. Potholes are inevitable and part of any city living. So just get used to driving with potholes. A lot of times easier just to kind of drive through than drive around because there's not a ton of space, but it's it's part of what you're gonna do living here. So if you've ever seen that show, Parking Wars, <laughs> that was uh, filmed in Philadelphia. And if the fear of getting a ticket from the PPA doesn't inspire you to not want to move to our city, I don't know what will, but of course they glamorized it and they dramatized it. I mean, it's for a good reason. We need to be able to get in and out and through the city. Some people actually do park on sidewalks. <laughs> and on the curbs. There are some spots where it's actually more affordable to take the ticket than to go try to find parking. Now, I'm not suggesting you do that here. As long as you're not holding up traffic or you're in the way of something, there's a, actually a ton of spots where you take the ticket and that's your cost of parking for the day and you actually save a few dollars. Just make sure you pay that ticket because they will not make you exempt from that. Certainly there's a, a lot of walkability in Philadelphia and you're gonna try to really focus on trying to walk everywhere because parking is a big problem in the area. Now there are parking spots for sale and a lot of the real estate do come with allotted spots or garages. It's just, there's a lot of cars in the city. Certainly when we're showing houses and when we're out working, never a problem to find a spot, but it's certainly a consideration where you wanna walk mostly everywhere you go. So biking is absolutely very popular in the city. There's dedicated bike lanes and share the road and there's a lot of bicyclists. It's very popular. There's a ton of free bikes offered by the city. There's a ton of cheap bikes offered by the city. You pick it up in one spot and drop it off in another. Cycling is encouraged. It's very safe and there's a lot of opportunity for it and it's literally all over the city. So it's certainly something to consider if you're having trouble driving or parking or what have you. Okay, so our liquor laws will baffle you. That's right. So only the state owned stores, which are all over, and don't get me wrong, can you get liquor and wine. Now, but you can get wine and beer in grocery stores. Now you can get wine and beer in some takeout places, but you can't get the wine there. You can only get the beer. So now bars and restaurants, they serve it all, but you can't take it to go. So it, it gets a little confusing, but again, here's a little trick. Delaware isn't too far away, home of tax-free shopping. Also, Jersey has very, very deep discounted liquors. Now, I didn't say that, and please don't tell Pennsylvania, but look, we're here to help you save money, right? We're all in this together. But if you can get through the confusion of what can I get where, it's pretty easy to get the liquor that you need, okay? So the great state of Pennsylvania is technically not a state. That's right, it's a commonwealth. Now, a commonwealth is very similar to a state, and there are a ton of rules that are the same, and it's run like a state, and we call it the great state of Pennsylvania. And, but something neat to point out, it is a commonwealth, not a state. Absolutely, the location of Philadelphia, and really Pennsylvania in general, is, is phenomenal. It's second to none. Within an hour or so's drive, you can be in New York, New Jersey, Delaware. You can be in the Baltimore Harbor in about an hour and a half, depending on what time you go. You could be in the mountains in just about an hour and a half. There are major thoroughfares, there are major airports. It's really a great hub for living, working. There's a ton of transportation. There's a ton of opportunity here. You're so close to New York and, and so close to New Jersey that there's just a, a ton of places to go live and work. Hit us up if you're interested in coming anywhere near the greater Philadelphia area. We're experts all around and we'll give you free information, okay? And we'll give you our opinions, but we can also give you some real good data too. All right, so what do the people say, right? You heard me say, but what are the people saying? And you've got to check out some of the things that people are saying online. And of course, if you see it on the internet, it must be true, but mostly people love living in our city. It's the city of neighborhoods. Each little neighborhood is eclectic and different and unique in its own way. The proximity that we mentioned before to all the different states and all the different areas, where we're literally within about a radius of, of 100 miles, you could be on the beach, you could be in the mountains, and you could be in the major metropolitan areas as well. The city is up and coming between art and cuisine. It's always constantly changing and it's always constantly bettering itself. The city is inspiring and it's the city of brotherly love. We all look out for each other and we all help each other and we all want to be a part of everything for each other. Yeah, Philadelphia is gritty and cynical and certainly tells you like it is, but there's also a real good sense of community here where it's kind of like, you can't talk bad about Philadelphia, but we can because we live here. Hey, don't say that even if it's true, but there is really a great sense of community and that's all over the city and that's all over this area, really the greater Philadelphia area. Absolutely community oriented. I can hardly think of something that this area doesn't offer. 
If you are thinking of something, comment that down below and I'm sure I either forgot to mention it or we definitely have it to offer. It has a ton of things that I'm not even thinking to mention right here. In the city and out of the city for sure in the greater Philadelphia area, you get what you pay for, okay? So it's really relative as to where you wanna live and that's for renting or buying. It depends on what you're spending and it really is relative. Even for Airbnb and investment properties as well, the national average of price points is right around that $200,000, $250,000 and you can get a ton of great real estate in that quarter million dollar price point in the city and outside of the city as well. There's so much more I could mention here. I mean, we've got history. We've got all the history you could imagine and then some. Well, I hope you found this video a little more uplifting or a little more eye-opening and give you a little bit of more insight about how living in our fair city and in the greater Philadelphia area is. If you like our videos and you like our channel, hit that subscribe button. Click that bell notification though. You can call us, email us, text us anytime. I'm Gregory Martyr, your local real estate expert. We're here to help with all of your real estate needs and all of your living in Philadelphia informational needs as well. Thanks for stopping back. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.